Hi, welcome back. Do you believe in visualization? Are you someone who's used visualization, affirmations to your betterment? If you are, you're in the right place because this is the kind of thing that I love, love, love talking about. We're soulmates. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell. You're gonna like this, you're gonna like this. So, you are probably someone who's already familiar with the traditional law of attraction techniques named earlier. Visualization, affirmations, things like this. What I wanna talk about today, however, is scribing or scripting. That's just, those are just fancy words for writing. A tool that I've been using here for the past several weeks with fantastic results is scribing. All you need for this activity is a, a notebook, some paper. I would really say um, designate yourself a, a particular notebook or journal that this is the activity that's happening there and a pen. Now I know that a lot of people do enjoy the technology. They like to do things in their phone. They like to do things with their, with their laptop or their tablet, but really for my money, there's nothing like taking pen to paper, really and truly. Here's the reason why. Did you know that when you write something down, that is the first indication to the outside world that this thing has been manifested? Not manifested perhaps in the way that you envision it, but it is in fact a manifestation when it comes out of your mind onto the paper. Also, there's something sensory that's happening as you are writing the letters and putting your intention into that writing that's also very much creative. So like I say, I, I would really highly suggest that you do um, do it old school and then write with a paper and pen. Okay, fine. What are the things that you're gonna write? You can actually choose any area of your life that you so desire. The most common areas would be your health and wellness. Maybe you have a, a health condition that you would like to improve, maybe is something related to your, your physical body that you feel uh, could be improved. Maybe it's something with your finances. A lot of people, there's a lot of talk about finances. Maybe, maybe you wanna win the lotto. Maybe you want to be in your, your perfect ideal career. Um, relationships. Maybe you're looking to improve upon an existing relationship. Maybe you're looking to attract a new relationship, whatever the case may be. I really feel like these are gonna be the most um, common areas. Actually, another common area would be your living arrangement. Especially now these days, we're spending a lot more time um, inside of the home. So maybe there are things about the home that you would like to improve upon. You're gonna pick the area that you are targeting, areas I would say, that you're targeting and just begin to write in your journal. Many of us are familiar with the secret. You can use that old standby. I am, so, I am so happy and grateful now that. You can use whatever languaging really gets you excited. I'm so excited now that. I am beyond pleased now that. I just love the fact that. Those are some openers. Whatever you know really gets your juices going. I'm gonna go with I just love that. I just love that I am now able to wear all of the clothes that have been hanging in the back of my closet. I fit into, this is me scribing now, I just fit into these, uh, these articles of clothing with such ease and they look better on me now than they did 10 years ago, for example. We can do um, health. Um, I happen to be someone who is in, in uh, I would say perfect health. I, I'm in very good health. But if you're the kind of person who uh, maybe there's an area that you want to work on. Um, it could be um, your iron levels. It could be blood pressure. Uh, it could be uh, sugar levels, glucose levels, whatever it is. I am beyond ecstatic now that my glucose levels have fallen into the proper range. Whenever I get my, um, my, whenever I check my sugar, it's always in the range that I set forth. I think the average is 100, maybe the max is uh, 120, like you wanna be between 100 to 120, something like this. I'm not, don't, don't take my word for it. I'm just, you know, going off of the top of my head, but I believe the average is around 100. So if I were such a person, I would include that in my journaling, the number that I want to see the, uh, the rate, the reading at. 
if we're talking about blood pressure, they say, they used to say 120 over 80, now I think it's a 115 over 75. They've, they've lowered it because people really um, are having issues with their blood pressure. So I would be that specific. So as you're writing down all of the wonderful, beautiful things that are happening with your health and wellness, as you're writing down all of the beautiful, wonderful things that are happening with your, your fitness, with your body, as you're writing down all of the fantastic things, the business contacts, the business opportunities, the kind of clients you're attracting, the kind of customers you're attracting who um, have been looking for a business such as yours for the longest time and they're just so grateful to have met you finally, whatever the case may be. The most important thing is that you're writing things that spark joy. You're writing things that get you excited. And when you're writing it this way, when you're writing it this way, a couple of things are gonna happen. I already mentioned one. When you put it on the paper, that's the first physical manifestation. Actually, the first true manifestation is when you even have the thought. Because you've had the thought, you potentially could ha hold it in your hand. But when you've had that thought, you've, you've, you've created it. The only thing stopping you, the only things stopping you are the gestational period, you know, divine timing, and whatever beliefs you may have around that particular goal. Sometimes, a lot of times, it's, it's our beliefs that are keeping it back, at bay. So the first physical manifestation is when you have written it down on the paper. When you are feeling good about whatever that area is, you're raising your vibrations around that subject. When you raise your vibrations around that subject, you're elevating yourself, you're elevating your own energy on that level so that you can be a match. That's the law of attraction, right? So that when you are writing about perfect wellness or your, your physical body or uh, your relationship with your, your in-laws, whatever the case may be, when you're writing about these things and you're really feeling what it's going to feel like, what it does feel like to just be in harmony Wow, to just be in harmony with, with that energy, you're that much closer to really having it to actualize. So you, you've written it down, that's the first manifestation, you're raising your vibration around the subject, you are making it that much easier for it to come to you. And the third thing, the third uh, a byproduct of this exercise is when you get done writing out this story in the way that I'm describing, when you get done, you're gonna feel like you could just walk on clouds. You're gonna feel so so good, so happy, so relaxed. You're, you're gonna feel better. And if you are a follower of Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, you know that your only job is to feel good. I just wanna feel good. When you are in that feeling good space, you are so receptive for not only the things that you have your mind on, not only those things that you are shooting for, but good things that are of a similar vibration or the same vibration, good, goodness, lightness, joy, you are opening up yourself for those kind of things to become, to be coming closer to you into your existence. That's like a, a very pleasant byproduct. So, to review, I'm suggesting that as a fantastic law of, law of attraction technique, um, in addition to the visualization, in addition to the affirmations, you begin scripting or scribing out your life or aspects of your life in the most ease and joyful and beneficial ways possible. The words that you're gonna use are the words that really excite you, that really get your juices going and you're going to be as descriptive as possible. The more excited you are, the more you are on that bullseye. Try it out, let me know what you think. Before we do that though, go ahead and stop, comment down below, and let me know what do you think of this strategy of really being intentional, really being specific in kind of orchestrating the direction that you are choosing for yourself, the direction you're choosing for your life. What do you think about that? Is it possible for you? Because guess what, here's, here's, spoiler alert, if it's possible for me, if it's possible for the people that I've learned this from, that means it's possible. So if it's possible, it's possible for you too, really and truly. All right, give it a shot. If you like this video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later, bye-bye.